Diaries of Dead Thought. Sandy Beach's Bad Intentions. Chapter 4. Tick, 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 boom. Written and narrated by Kyle Lowe. In our last chapter, we saw Good deciding to change up her tactics a bit. We see the user has just informed his guests that there's less than 45 minutes till the band begins to play. So get ready because everything's about to get a lot more interesting. And Evil has just been doing what she does. And we'll turn back to Evil now. On the deck. Good has been doing her best to mingle with the guests. I think enjoying the fact that she's making the user so nervous The user sticking very close to evil, now hanging out on the deck. Evil, placing earlier, placing a red, red silk ribbon around a patio chair and table set, where many guests have set up now, and she ushers, ushers the user to come have a seat. At his chair. Good, on the other hand, has seemed to found herself a comfortable chair at the bar, talking with one familiar brunette. As we turn back and see, with a smile on Evil's face, the user collapsing to the floor on his ass because the chair he sat on was cut in half. As we turn back to Good. Enjoying her cup of coffee, again. And doing her best to mingle. She seems to have taken over the PDA pad and the music house stereo while inside of the house. Putting her own style into what's going on, thank God. Get it off the 80s music. So after some time of listening to the chit-chat of these two women back and forth, I hear in the conversation it takes a small gospel turn. The brunette feeling a little bit bad about what she's done in the last couple hours and good just saying you know that's why God died for us um, so you can just ask for forgiveness you know cutting out we see the user picking himself up trying to do the best not to let everyone realize that his Clothes are stain retardant, resistant as his drink spills off of him again, standing up with a chuckle, blowing it off. She usher, he ushers evil to get another chair as this proceeds, just to get a feel. This mingling has gone on for some time. Good keeping a close eye on the user. Both pawing each other back and forth like a cat and mouse battle where the mouse has found a good little hiding spot but the cat knows that you can't hide in there forever. I don't think you're smart enough to hide, for one. And for two, I'm a lot better at hiding than you are. So with a smirk, she jumps 
onto the bar. Again, deciding to suddenly change the game plan. Pulling out her Uzi in quite a sudden jerking fashion, half of the crowd seeing this becomes suddenly disturbed, alerting the other 50% of the crowd. With a smile on her face and the other hand ushering a hand down as if to calm the crowd, she begins to tell everyone. Welcome everyone to our party. It's about to get a lot more exciting, as he said. I hope everyone's having a good time. Now this is where we're going to do a short action sequence for you guys. Don't be afraid. It's all tricks of the camera as she takes out the Uzi, shooting her other hand, staining blood on the kitchen wall, separating a portion of her hand from the upper portion of her wrist. Her wrist falls, only to watch the separated void section of her hand being reassembled in some disgusting manner. Watching the bone grow first, followed by the muscle. Blood flushing in to the area as if being forced to reassemble itself without its parts. All the blood evaporating off the wall just as fast. With a scream, the crowd is surprised and yet excited and impressed. This must be some sort of amazing FX effects going on here. As we see, good. Jump down off the counter as Evil walks in the front doors with a smile on her face. As she says loudly, it's about time. They both continue their march to the center of the room. As the crowd displaces from the round center, living room, couches. They meet in the center of the living room. As evil announces to good. Well, how are we going to do this? As she pulls out her cylinder. Good looks back at Evil. Well, we're just going to have to play it by ear. Turning now, we see the user breaking out of sight around the corner of the deck. We turn back to good and evil. I cut now to a first person perspective of good. Seeing what she can see. Now tied in to evil. He's seeing my two Uzis. I become aware that she has given evil a nod, which is returned with a nod from evil. And with a thrust, she jumps into the air a good ten feet, closing over on top of her as she reaches the top of her jump. She points her Uzis down at evil. Quite unprepared for this, evil unleashes her sword and takes one step back. Good now directly above evil lets loose of both guns, 
stopping her descent as it shoots her back into the air. Unloading this clip evenly on Evil's sh upper shoulders, her two arms hit the ground. We turn, turn and, and with a back-flipping amazing motion, you see, good, return the guns to their holsters and apparently change back to a heavier form as she slams back to the ground, smashing down the remaining torso of evil, pulling out her sword. And with a slash, removing her feet from her ankles. She walks off with a grin towards the kitchen. As the crowd gasps with horror as the blood evaporates from them, they begin to cheer and clap. As Good does her best to wiggle around on the floor, her torso connecting the other portions of her feet and her arms, still holding her sword, flapping around like a fish, slicing and burning the floor. This being the only thing that has a long-term effect, her sword actually burning the floor, her being unable to withdraw the sword, it being severed in her hand, continues to flop around as she reattaches it and stands up. With a smirk on her face, like, really? Be ah. You can see that she, for the first time, is affecting her weight. As you see, a shock wave as the floorboards warp under her weight of her twisting ankle as she drives herself towards good. The very force of this ripping up the floor underneath her as she takes three steps towards her. Now her momentum pointed straight at good. She returns back to a more weightless form. Pulling out her knife again, she points it forward straight at her and now in a barrel roll with her feet back head straight forward sword straight like a red flashing dart straight at her she points her sword to the left and beginning a spin good quite taken back by this attempts to duck to avoid this receiving three cuts to her back, cutting her dress. Blood splashes upward as Good hits the floor. Evil smashes into the back wall of the kitchen as they both stand up and gain their composure. They both smirk and laugh. Good again jumps on top of the counter, kicking Evil in the face. Pulling out her sword, she once again, still continuing this first person perspective of Good, tight and intimate. She does her best to defend and attack Good from an uneven ground, Evil being on the ground. She jumps once more and turns into the ribbon. And to her dismay, is immediately sucked into the heater vent, the air vent. You can see Good once again fall to the deck in laughter as he makes a mess again underneath his chair as Evil also drops to the floor in laughter and hysterics as everyone joins in, as you see. 
good attempt to flash back to a human form, smashing the vent with one foot stuck in the wall. You see the effects of a gravity take hold as she smashes to the ground, destroying the vent and hitting the ground. She stumbles and stumbles up to the ground. She looks at evil. And you can see that was not even cool. Her face getting red. Good. Picking herself up, even realizing that she neatly just lost all of her gear now sitting on the kitchen table as she phase shifted out, her now in a white dress, her gun, all of her explosives, her dress sitting on the table. She takes a quick second to get herself put back together. As she turns back to good, doing her quick stretch and a neck snap. As they turn back to each other, again nodding, as if to usher in unpause. Good, scanning for the user, again breaks away from evil. Out of the kitchen, through the living room, and onto the deck outside, around to the right, towards the garden where the user had disappeared to, with Eagle hot on pursuit. On the deck now, good turns to Evil, letting loose the Uzi once more. She stops in her tracks, turning as if pulling a 180. She turns around, anchoring herself to the ground, pulling out her Uzi, aiming it back at evil. She lets loose on her ankle, severing her ankle from the foot mid-stride. Evil attempts to take that step that which she cannot, stumbling to the deck. Good. Returning the gun to her holster and pulling out her sword takes a thrushing dive towards evil. Now pulling from the first person perspective, we turn to good sl smashing down on her sword on good's evil's neck as evil pulls out her sword at the last second on her chest. opening it across her chest and across her face at the last second just to block. As if to show that that sword cannot even be affected by anything else. It, You could stomp on it once it's in play. It cannot... All other matter will bend around it. Just the sheer fact that she had pulled it out in time completely avoided, aborted Good's blow, which would have been potentially a deadly blow. Now seeing that the fight is taking a more intense turn, this fight not even taking more than five minutes. Good seeming more desperate and angered as if we could play this on for the rest of our lives but now there's some hostages here more to the situation than she knew she lets loose on e evil cutting now to underneath the deck as you see her sword repeatedly impacting the deck as a flood of blood comes pouring 
from underneath the deck. As you see, bits and pieces of evil being kicked off the deck, one at a time. As we turn and cut back to good, stress, red, stained in blood, with the white dress underneath, red, now drying off and evaporating and becoming white again. She gains her composure, looking around. Looking at the sun now, is just now cresting the top of the ocean, beginning to set. She turns back and looks to the guests, which are now waiting on pins and needles to see what climax is coming. She points and looks at the clock. 7.30. Now, panning off of good in the deck, she turns and walks into the house. I circle around with her, doing a full 180, a circular panning motion as we see the blood-stained glass plane windows with the bits of unnecessary parts of evil beginning to evaporate on the glass and on the deck. As she turns around the corner into the home, the window is spotlessly clean. Gleaming red in the sunshine one second to once again letting forth the sunshine. As good walks back over and takes her place at the counter, taking in a, another drink of her coffee and continuing her, her conversation with the brunette. As we turn back to the user, which again has escaped through the back portion of the home and back into his control room, the lab. From there, he's monitoring live feeds of the home, observing good, hanging out in his kitchen. Evil rejoins him there as they go over final preparations. A clock on the wall reads T minus 29 minutes till 7.30. Another screen reads average 99% complete as pages and pages of data fly by on the screen as a computer program interprets this data and goes forth with its job. Evil. Adjusting goods tie, they turn back to the elevator and rejoin the guests.